this is a sample of video lessons presentation. In this presentation, not only we answer test questions, but show one or two words to find the right answer. Those are the key words, and they are the only things you need to remember to locate a proper answer. Follow us and discover these key words for yourself. We'll show you how to find and how to remember them. Watch video lessons several times until you remember the right answer. After that, go to our online test, which is free when you buy online video lesson and practice it until perfection. Good luck. Thank you. Uh, double triple endorsement test uh, uh, is uh, one of the shortest tests, but uh, you have to pay attention to um, how uh, converter dolly, how the second or third trailer needs to be coupled to the main rig. And uh, um, most of the questions uh, uh, ask you about uh, well this particular technique. Question number one, with the hand valve on, you should test the trailer brakes by opening the service line valve at the rear of the trailer. When you do this, you should hear. Again, if even you don't know uh, how exactly uh, to couple the second or third trailer, you need to figure out uh, well uh, general uh, situation. You have one trailer and uh, you need to couple another one. You uh, engage hand valve on. You well put it on, and now you should test the trailer brakes by opening the service line valve at the rear of the trailer. Uh, and uh, you should hear what you should hear. You should uh, hear the air escape. You test uh, service line. You test the service line which contains air. So logically, what you need to hear? Definitely air escape. Air escape. You test service line. You you need to hear air escape. That would be the sign that uh, well, uh, it, uh, the air is in there. If you don't hear escape, uh, air escape it means something is wrong. That's how you approach to any questions. Okay, <coughs> uh, not many people are well really familiar with the uh, well uh, uh, details of how to connect the second and third trailer. But what uh, in order to succeed in the double triple test, you just need to uh, apply general logic. So again, uh, you are asked it. You uh, you open service line. So what you need to hear is definitely an escape because what it is in the um, airline in service line air. Okay. Question two. You are driving with uh, double uh, trailers and must use your brakes to avoid a crash. Uh -huh. For emergency braking, you should. This question uh, uh, reminds uh, you general knowledge section. Just apply general uh, common sense. Emergency braking. How you should brake in the emergency situation? You use controlled braking or stab braking. Mm -hmm. Because this is an emergency situation and uh, you learn uh, a long time ago that step braking is a approved technique to well use in an emergency situation. Okay, controlled or step braking. Question number three. Which of these statements about emergency steering? Now you ask it something about uh, steering in the emergency situation. And again, um, you need to read. Uh, uh, we encourage you to read uh, uh, all uh, given options because you need to find out uh, where to apply your, your logic. And the right answer here is um, C. If you have traffic on both sides of your vehicle and something is blocking your lane, a move to the right still be best. Again, general uh, logic common sense, uh, familiar, uh, you should be familiar with the situation from the general uh, knowledge section, from your everyday experience on the road. If something is, uh, well, in front of you, um, well, to the right is always the best, moving to the right, doesn't matter, it's double, it's uh, quadruple, it's triple, okay? So, emergency steering, 
moving to the right, moving to the right. For example, question, uh, I mean, option B uh, in, uh, tries to trick you. You can almost always stop more quickly than you can turn uh, wrong. The, the opposite is true. You can almost always uh, turn more quickly. That's why I repeat, you need to read all given options and then, well, to apply general logic. Okay, right, right, moving to the right, still be best in the emergency uh, situation. Okay, good. Question four. Well, not uh, all of the questions are so long. Some of them are pretty short. Um, the converter dolly air tank drain valve on couplet double triple trailers should be all right, you need to know what the converter dolly is. Converter dolly is something which is used to connect, uh, well, first trailer with the second trailer. And, um, and uh, well, think. Uh, converter dolly air tank drain valve on coupled double trailer. Well, uh, in what condition in, in, in uh, this... Uh, um, uh, air tank drain valve should be it should be open it should be open because uh, if it would be closed or just partially oh partial open is not true at all if it should if, if it would be closed you wouldn't be able to supply air to the second trailer uh-huh again general logic you just need to uh, figure out what the dolly converter dolly is some some device which is used to connect uh, first and second trailer so definitely it should be open okay question number five to check if the converter dolly is securely coupled to the rear trailer you should Mm -hmm. Now, the situation is uh, uh, as such. You, you already connected, coupled, rear trailer. Now, you should check if it's, well, connection is secure. What you need to do? General logic, general common sense. Pull gently against the pin of the second trailer. That's exactly the, uh, well, the technique you use, uh, uh, well, in, uh, in every situation. Gently, good word, keyword which uh, applies here, pull gently, OK, 